Which letter wouldn't you miss if it got kicked out of the alphabet? Which one of those letters do we think is the most useless and probably not going to be missed? Now, obviously, there are some words that will miss out, but I'm going with this. Well, I, wait, I'm changing my answer. Ooh. I haven't shown it yet. I can change yeah, it, Yeah, you right? can. Okay. So, I was okay. thinking of changing mine, too. Uh oh <laughs> I, I, I second-guessed myself the entire time. Okay, okay. so has everyone got okay, one on the board? I got, I got it. Uh, yeah. I will go yes. first this time. We'll yes. go reverse order, so it'll be uh, Suzanne next. So I've gone for the Z. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Suzanne. I'm sorry. We can call you Sue Ann, it's fine. It's not a problem. Sue, Sue Ann, what, what letter would you go for? C. Ooh. C. C. Is that because of the K? Any use of C can be replaced by an S or an K. Uh, it's, All right? It's, it's you put a very valid point. Okay, you've very got that through. Point. That's a very clever yeah. answer. You've totally sold me on the C. Okay. Yeah, bye -bye C. <laughs> what have you, but is that what you wrote? What have you got, MJ? No. <laughs> what have you got? An X? Oh, an X! But how would we put that kisses at the end guess. of our text messages? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's, everyone's going to think I'm being passive-aggressive or I don't like them. <laughs> You'll just have to use O's. You'll just have to start giving no, hugs. No, no one uses hugs. hugs. Yeah. It's just a full stop. Everyone's going to think I hate them. Okay, what about you, John? Please. Yes! Dead. Yes, oh. John! Okay, Gosh. I knew that there'd be someone. There had to be someone. That's nice. all I was looking for. Wow. Ruel? Well, now I regret not going with X. I went with Q, Q instead. Oh, I love Q. the letter Q. Q. Makes sense. Really? I wanted to I go with it. Q too. Yeah, we're right I think here, it's MJ. The most, the most useless. But I wrote down right? the X, and oh, I was well. like, I'll stick with it. <laughs> so yeah. I'll point out some of y'all. Like I have two kids. Yeah. Oh, with Z. And y'all pick their name and everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh -oh. I'm, I don't want to be on that list. But the list that I do care about is the points list. And John and myself are on that list. You guys aren't. So there's a point each Boo. for us, guys. Wow. We have name something found on a beach. Simple, right? But are we all going to think the same thing? Is it, though? We'll see. We're getting a thumbs it up, which means we can hear you. If you all want points. Well, yeah, this is it. If, okay, if, friends, if you're in this for we know what to write. If you're in this for prizes, there. come Thank on. Thank you. Yes. All right. There is one answer. Oh. There, I agree. One. Well, answer. you say this, but now I'm now I I'm nervous. Now I'm really nervous. I know one of you is going <laughs> to put the other one. The wrong answer, and the your logic answer. is going to be flawed. Oh no. oh no! Oh no! We've been hit with logic. Well, I don't so like have, the logic we have argument. We very different beaches, I imagine. Yeah, our beaches are crap. Yeah, we have rocks. Yeah. Well, oh, let's start this no, off. Do you know what? Let's all put ours up in the air. We've got... We've got... Let's okay. keep them there. I've gone for sand. Shell! Oh, Shell! Oh, sand! No. Yes! The boys have it. Yes, the boys sand. have it with sand. Wait, which has no. crushed up shells, <laughs> essentially. Can you, MJ, tell them the truth. <laughs> tell us the Let's truth, MJ. How is, uh, how is sand a thing that you find on the beach? Like, a it, shell is a thing beach. you find on the beach. The sand <laughs> is just there. Look, the I'm just going to say, uh, okay. I'm scoring you points every round. The so. It's there. That's some you know? good logic. I like your logic, but I'm not clever enough to think yeah, on that level. Yeah, exactly. So. You need, you've got to play the room. Wow. You do. Exactly. Thank you. So, yeah. I, you got lower in your defense, lower, yeah. lower the line. Lower yeah. Suzanne and MJ, y'all are too smart. Yeah. To bring it down just a notch. The boy, the boys are too dumb. Okay. I can live with that. So my theory is yeah. like the, the the shells are crushed up. Like you find sand is like crushed up shells anyway, pretty much. Like you'll find them all over. So I just went with what's more of. So sand it is. So that is a point for Ruel, myself. And, hey, John, you are, yes. So, scores on the doors are three to myself. We have John with two, Ruel, Suzanne, and MJ on one. There we go. Hmm. We can't let the host win, though. Come no, on. we can't let the host uh, win. Yeah, um, Come on, friends. <laughs> well, this is herd, oh, and herd ben mentality, not Ben mentality. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's see. Now, this, okay, so, full disclosure... I played this game a couple of weeks ago. This question got asked, and I was way off. Everyone ripped me to shreds for my answer. Now, I still think I'm going to put that answer, but we will see. <laughs> How often should you use the toilet each day? Oh, indeed. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is. So I won't tell you where I went, but I was way off, and everyone was, everyone was worried for me, I think. I'm 
sad for you. Yeah. I, I hope. It's like, it was, I hope everyone here. It was one of those things. I was like, I know how to go to the toilet. That's I'm right, now being MJ. judged for yeah. it. That's right. Yes. Stay hydrated. <laughs> stay hydrated. <laughs> Uh, we're going to know who stays hydrated and who doesn't. Don't try and sway yeah. this to put more votes on the, the toilet visits. We all know how many we go. <laughs> right. Well, so, do we? That's... Well, no, maybe not. I'm going to do it. I'm, oh, flip. Uh, John, don't you count daily just to track your yeah, right. your body rhythm? <laughs> I've got the app, yeah? <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> the the toilet app. Is that, is that on the Fitbit, you know? Um, <laughs> okay. So, has everyone got it themselves an Fitbit. answer? <laughs> locked in. Yes. Locked in. Very confident. Well, in let's, two. in the interest of time, let's go totally with everybody reveal at the same time. So the question was, how often should you use the toilet each day? Answers, please. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm still yeah. low. So, okay. So I put one stroke, maybe two before. And everyone was like, how are you living? What are you doing with yourself? And I was like, I'm just <laughs> efficient, right? But, so I've upped my answer and I'm still the lowest in the group. Like I've, I've... No, no, sweetie, you're dehydrated. Yes. That's, right. <laughs> That's true. Yes. That was the same argument that was posted at me. John, I'm a little worried, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I, so I just... You got worried. You guys were freaking yeah, out yeah. that I was going to go too low. And so I kind of went higher than I originally thought. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. the girls, the girls <laughs> have it with... Did you both have five? Is that what was on the board for Suzanne and MJ? had five, yes. These are your points. They're going down. Next to your names. Good. There we go. Good. Um, I can't believe After I. After the stream is over, I'm gonna I'm gonna start counting just to make sure. I'm <laughs> After this stream, right you're gonna count your times. streams. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna count my streams. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Well played, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was the joke you guys asked. I just I just needed a little while to to build up to it. Um. So this one I might give a few different answers here. At what time does breakfast become lunch? We're not talking brunch here. Oh. We're talking when oh. when is lunch? Breakfast, not breakfast, and it's now lunch. Okay. Uh, okay. The the answer I've given is a hill I am willing to die on. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait for this. this this feels like there could be a sharp divide between a European attitude Ooh, towards yeah. mealtimes yes. and an American attitude towards mealtimes. So, it, so we'll yeah. see how this goes. But that's really, this yeah, is perfect, agreed. Suzanne. I'm interested to see this. This is I'm this is what shows that, the game's um, true form. You have to think like the herd, and the herd is mainly European here. John, we saw that. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> and I disagree. Are we all ready? Yes. yes. Should we should we agree like a? Is there a uh, let's just see what we got. That's not on the screen. Hey. <laughs> so. Oh, wait, what have you got, Ben? 1201. Ben, is that 12? That's 1201. Oh, 1201. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As in, like, there's a definite, <laughs> like, it's 1201 now. This is definitely lunchtime. So I, I'm happy to not take the point for the sake that I was pedantic, but I believe 1201 is fine. Uh, so we have two 12 p.m.s. We have 11 a.m. That's brunch, Suzanne. That is brunch. And 11.30, right. I to think like a European. I know. Yeah, so we, we brunch. Everything's so fluid in Europe. We brunch it's at like 11. It's like one big, long, snacky meal. <laughs> Breakfast up until 10. That is true. Brunch at 11, lunch at 12, and then snacks for the rest of the day. And dinner, tea. Okay, I have a, yes. I have a theory. Let's... I believe that brunch only exists on weekends. Oh, okay. And oh. on weekdays, you only okay. have breakfast, and then you have lunch yeah. from 11.30 onwards. I'm with you on that. But that's a great point. But on weekends, you don't have breakfast. I'm, you have brunch. I'm with you on that. That's, that's my theory. I'm with you on the brunch on only on weekends, but i still not having lunch at half past No, that is, that's breakfast still. If, if, if you're getting Agreed. rid of it. You've got to wait till later, otherwise the day's going to take forever. So you just yes. have two lunches. <laughs> so we have you're, John. You're more you are American smart. than I thought. That's all, John. <laughs> so we definitely John, have. John, you are a smart man. <laughs> a point for John and a point for Ruel, and it depends whether the group want to give me twelve oh one as the same answer as twelve. Heck no. Heck no. no. Okay, right. No. That's fine. Okay, so a point. You're in the lead, so no. Uh, well, John, John is now joint lead, so that's fine. Cool. Um, oh. Oh yeah. The, the shift. The shift has changed. So this is a nice. Oh, I like this one. Would you rather, we have a 50-50 here, so I feel like points can be won. Would you rather be covered in feathers or covered in fur? And I'm talking head to toe. So let's have hey. everyone reveal, same time. Fur, fur, fur. Whoa! Oh. Look at that. No Fs or buggers, but shit. Oh. Ben, you can't fly. 
Why? Mm. Oh, like this you? guy, this guy lives with me, so it's now moving on the screen. Maybe it's sitting in my paddock, my herd. Right, I have to defend this. I'm thinking yes. if I'm covered in furs, in feather, I am likely to be able to fly. Now, as this is not true, I know I can't fly, but I have got more chance of being able to fly covered in feathers than I am in fur, and I thought that would be more fun. Hey ho! You just no want to be a beautiful peacock. Uh, th yeah, maybe, maybe that was that was it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I the first to land a pink cow. I didn't think it would be on a 50-50. Definitely not. But it is what it is. <laughs> Alrighty, -o. next question. We have got name a famous John. Uh, and I'm afraid, John, this is a J-O-H-N, so you don't count. Yeah, so, oh, I think well, there's a few other names people would go to first. Well, again, <laughs> wow. you, read, you read the room. Everyone, Everyone's heard your name a few times today, so you never know. <laughs> Oh gosh. A famous John. I mean, I'm talking to a bunch of Europeans. <laughs> well. Right? Mm. A lot of politicians. Oh gosh, don't bring don't bring them into it. No one asks no, 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 you no no talking about politics, politics here. Politics free. All right, politics free Johns. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yes. So no John Major. That's the only John okay. I know. John Major and he's he's old. Yeah. He's old. Okay, has everyone got one? No, 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 we haven't. There's so many jobs. Oh, well. I was going through a whole catalogue in my head. Okay, well, maybe. What? Who are Ruel? But, you're ready, like, are you? There's so many, but I can only think oh, yeah. of like three right now. All right, I, I'm, prob I I'm probably way off. Let's have everyone. Re is everyone ready? Here yes. we go. John Lennon, John oh, Lennon, oh, John yeah. Lennon, John yeah. Stamos, <laughs> and John Ham. <laughs> so. John Please fill me in with John Stamos. I feel like that's a reference. That, is it a sportsman? Is that a sportsman? <laughs> I'm old, okay? I'm old. <laughs> and some of my pop culture references and touchstones are a little different than yours. Yeah, but John Lennon, he's, John he's, Lennon. he's old tat. He's at it. He's been dead for 40 yeah. years. <laughs> I think John Stamos uh, doesn't have like the crossover UK appeal. So much. Yeah, I'm not sure I know uh, John I Stamos. Do I know John Stamos? Yeah, he's an actor. Okay. Yeah. Four house. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so I've just put myself a point. I've put Ruella a point and MJ a point, which does put me in the lead again. But I do have the pink cow, so I cannot win. But you, you can't win, can't win. Cowboy. cowboy. Cow. Nice. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> think I'd get called a cowboy in the stream today. Um, but yeehaw. <laughs> All right. Really? Yeah. Well, who knew? Uh, this one could have some interesting answers. What is the slipperiest thing in the world? Like. Not, not in your. <laughs> oh, the, the the building over there enjoyed that question a lot. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, what is the slipperiest thing in the world? Gosh, 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 gosh. Um, by the way, a certain recent song that brings to mind. Yes, immediately. yeah. Do you know what? Uh -oh. There's, there's no. You can say what you want. Uh, I don't think you should put that, but we'll, we'll see. I want to write it. Oh no. I wrote my family-friendly answer. <laughs> wow, I, I'm I'm at a loss here. I mean, I have something, but I I don't think this is gonna. Yeah, All right, I'm I've managed to get two. Herd mentality, one of us. <laughs> I've got one two of, of the letters <laughs> that MJ was talking about into my word, so I feel like that's good enough. That's two thirds. So, are we ready? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, oh no! Yeah. I still. MJ. Yes. Oh. John, right here, my friend. Wow. <laughs> well, you pulled it out earlier, so it was on my mind. It's... Thank you. Yes. That's why he oh. did it. That, I'm gonna scrub that off. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> no the, one. The Jedi mind trick worked. No one right. was yeah. So what do we have? Two for eel, one with ice. Yes. Did you both say ice? Nope. Two for ice. Two, two for two ice. ice. MJ and I are. MJ and I are. Do you know what that means, guys? Do you know what that means? What does that? Mean? Nobody gets points. I oh. I I retain the, the the cowboy token, um. But you guys okay. don't score points because the majority is shared. So, uh, unfortunate. Uh, right. Next one, shall we? Uh, <laughs> I'm from Eastern Poland, very close to the border of Ukraine, okay. which means we get like minus twenty five degrees <laughs> in the winter, Ooh. and then like plus thirty five degrees in the summer. So no rest. No basically. rest. Wow. All right then. Uh, so we've got some people playing loads of loud music outside, but that's fine. Are guys ready? Yes. 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 
What we got? What? So, so, oh, we have another another joint. Another tie. Oh, oh, two. oh no! Oh no! Wait. What? Wait, what? Yeah, this, I don't. Okay, so I don't get the cow, do I? Uh, no. <laughs> what, uh, what did you say, Ruel? No. I said spring. Yes, then. Yes, you do. I'm afraid, Suzanne. Hey! You've landed yourself yeah. a cow, cow, which means I'm the cow. <laughs> The pink cow, yes. The pink cow is now Suzanne's. I'm so you must sorry. cherish it. I should have said autumn. I'm so sorry. No, please don't. So I was expecting. I should have said spring. Well, you. Yeah. What? What is your favorite? Out of interest, Me? yeah, yeah. Autumn. It, it actually is your favorite. We're like board gamers. Like so many of us were board oh, gamers, yeah. and it's like the perfect season. It's true. Where it's true. Oh, that's. But I'm just. I'm just a summer have player. Have an excuse to be inside and play games. Hey ho. Now I want to change my answer. <laughs> <laughs> too late, I'm afraid. Susanna has the pink cow. Too late. What about, what is the biggest animal you could wrestle to the ground? Now, I don't advocate that you do this, but if you could, <laughs> if there was an animal and you look at it and think, right, I could wrestle that to the ground safely, of course, what's the biggest one you think you could do? Wow. I really overestimate my strength. Okay, <laughs> so M MJ's going to put an elephant. <laughs> Right. A bear. <laughs> a whale. A uh, whale's easy. They're already oh on the gosh. floor pretty much. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> right. Oh, gosh. That is tough. Wait, no. Oh, okay. Jesus, I thought you were already ready. I am. Oh, I'm thinking like, this is, to wrestle something is quite tactile. You've got to be able to get quite close. Right. Look, and, and wrestling is not about just weight or brute strength. No. strength. It's really about leverage. Of course, of course. You yeah. know, and also <laughs> if, if the other side has teeth and is using them. True. That's, that's also important. Mm. So, are we ready? John's uh, desperately yes. thinking to get, to get really the right one. I'm really struggling. Yeah, all these animal ones. I don't leave my house. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> are we ready? We you mean you haven't wrestled any animals yes. lately? <laughs> are we ready? I don't even have to, honestly. A deer, a cow, a John <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Suzanne wins. And a very large dog. I am confident in my answer. I'm, sh I'm sure you're right. And also, I'm just pleased that you spelt my name perfectly. So I just. <laughs> That's very good. Um, so no one scores points, but we've had some very interesting answers. Ruel, I think a very large dog. I feel like you've underplayed your own strength there. I feel like you've got it in you to, to, to tackle something larger, right? <laughs> I'll have to try the next time I go wrestling animals. I will try a larger one. All right. <laughs> I just kept thinking that I wouldn't be able to do it, so I thought about backing out. I was like, yeah, but they're kind of heavy, and I, I just didn't think just I had it in to, me. You just have to like tip. gain speed. So my plan for the cow, right, is that it's just standing <laughs> somewhere minding its own business, and then I just run ah, like straight at it and just like jump. So the surprise. <laughs> and that's how I would wrestle a cow to the ground. You, you, and there's that thing of cow tipping, right? Of course. Is that a thing in the that, US as well? Thing, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it Why is. Why are we so weird? Humans are so weird and generally <laughs> horrible. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> so we have a 50-50 one here. The last 50-50 one, if you remember, caught me out. I got the pink cow and you all got points. Is it going to be the same? If you had a time machine, would you visit the past or the future? Ooh. Uh. Oh. Oh. This could get very deep, and please, please don't make it deep. We can we can have the deep conversation afterwards, but I feel like this could go very deep. Oh, flip. I have a theory that it depends on like which genre of game we like more. So if you like fantasy, you're gonna say past, and if oh. you like cyberpunk stuff, you're gonna say future. This is true. Speed. Now, have have you read that's, the room? That's funny. You can see, you what about can see... if you just like the wooden, you know, the themeless Euro. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You, you want the present. That is literally present day, right? Yeah, you travel <laughs> That's just Wales. Direction. You just don't use the time machine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I've got my answers. You've got your answers. Ready? The future is bright. The future... Oh, oh, the futures have it. Now, obviously, we've... Really? We've obviously all got our own theories. Now, my theory here, if you want to hear it, is the past is done, and it should probably be left alone. But I feel like if I can see into the future and something even worse is going to happen, let's fix that. But who knows? There, there, there's a two yeah, you'll have a paranoia. Ah, oh, true. And instead you could like be a knight or something like that. Go to the medieval Just times. have fun. Like, meet cool historical <laughs> figures. I've always wanted to joust. You know what, what's funny about 
uh, what MJ brought up. I like science fiction. I prefer that as a game genre, but I wanted to go to the past just so I could bet on sporting events that I knew were going to happen. <laughs> true. But surely that, that, that's uh, true for, for looking into the future, right? You can tell which yeah, horses you, are going to win. Rich. You'll be yeah, rich. As a rich. gamer, Ruel, did you just tell the entire world that, you like that if you had the power, you would cheat? Ooh. Um, no, I would. Ouch. <laughs> I, I have no comment. I think we're having uh, we're well. having a technical difficulty. <laughs> yeah, your audio is not coming through. Yeah, I can, I can hear that. Sorry. Could I just have a show? Of, who was the future? That was myself, John, and Suzanne. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Uh, so a few more before this is over. We have got what is the first thing you do in the morning? What is the first thing you do in the morning? Oh. What? I got an answer, and I'm willing to say that anyone who disagrees with what I said is probably lying. <laughs> well, it depends. Like, as, I'll, I'll talk once everyone's written something down. Has everyone written something down? Well, yes. I know yes. well, only does it like once or twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends uh -oh. if you mean immediately. Like, are we talking just opening your eyes, or are we talking about the yeah, first activity? Yeah, immediately, right? But I, right? I didn't say oh, okay. I didn't say immediately. I've actually put. Look, if I've, we're gonna be semantic, I've put we. Yeah, I've done a very big we. Ah. You just and saw, Suzanne, you just said, uh, we what? and P hey! are the same thing. Oh what? <laughs> Look at the phone. Check phone. What? Yeah, true. That's true. Ruel, Ruel still, has, still has, has the cow. cow. He loves the cow <laughs> oh so much. So, wow. check phones definitely gets up and goes for a wee. That's my one of two a day. I do the morning one and then maybe before. Oh. Uh, maybe. How do you even like? How, how do you even like get the strength to get up if you don't check your phone first? This is true. How, how do I even know that I'm alive if I've not checked my phone? What's, what's going on? Literally. So I said this question might come up and it has. So we're gonna do it. It is name Tom Hanks's best film. Oh, wow. Oh. Now, this is hard because obviously he has many, but what's... I have I have my personal feeling. Yeah. I have a feeling. And I, I, I don't know if okay. I can distance myself from my own personal feeling here. Oh, gosh. Right. Oh, gosh. There's so many. Are we ready? Okay, John is writing way like... too many letters. Yeah. So <laughs> I know that oh, no. letters are different. That makes me think that Suzanne, has everyone written one? That makes me think that oh, Suzanne, no. you wanted yeah, to write big, big, right? Okay. I've put Forrest Gump. It's big, yes. I, I'm, oh, oh no. no. Uh, so Suzanne, oh, story, of course. Suzanne, I feel for you because big is definitely his best film and it is brilliant, but I thought everyone would say Forrest Gump. Toy Story. Oh my God. I thought everyone was going to say Woody, Toy Story. Yeah. Big is my favorite Tom I Hanks guess, movie. I oh guess it's because his face isn't in it, but that's a point for... Yeah. Is that, who is it? MJ, myself, and John? Yeah. MJ. I went for the glory with that one. You did. I haven't watched it in years. Talk it, yeah. Talking oh, of glory, oh John. Has this happened? Has this, have you overtaken me? Have mm. I not given myself a point? We have our winner. We have John Perkis with <gasps> eight points. Myself on yeah. seven. Suzanne on six. MJ on six. And Ruel with three. But we have our champion today. And he wins it with Forrest Gump. So well done, John. Nice. <laughs> there we go. What? Good game. Oh, there there we oh go. God. Bye. Thanks everyone. Oh, yeah. That had some. Your brains were so easy to read. <laughs> it had some moments <laughs> that one, right? That's okay because now the world knows I can wrestle you to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, so I feel so the the wooden spoon or the pink cow award goes to to Ruel, who ended up with the pink cow. So uh, when you receive your your Ooh. game in the post, uh, you can you can keep your cow with pride. Um, now obviously we said at the beginning we'd like to get your thoughts on the game. Like it's relatively new for us still. Um, and we want this to be a, an honest, like, what's, what's everyone's first opinion on what is essentially a mind-reading, word, wordy game? What do we feel? Yeah, I love it. I love trying to think like other people, but also being um, shocked at how different you might be. Yeah. Well, or how, how different Ben is, I suppose. <laughs> is that different to <laughs> how different I am to yourself or how different I am to society? <laughs> yeah, well, a bit of both. Yeah, I, 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 I struggled playing this with my family because they know me really well but they still don't know me well enough that they don't they don't see what I'm going to write they just don't get there but yeah what about you Suzanne you were a close close third second 
<laughs> you were you were in the you were, you were in it. No, it it I think it does what party games should do yeah. so well. It is quick and easy to teach. A huge, like a ton of people can play. You can it doesn't like rely on you being super smart or super strategic, but you can really think about it, right? And you can play it at different levels. You can play it with anybody. It's so casual and fun and it makes you laugh and you know, if it's a party game, it brings people together. You just have a good time. I mean, here we are, five people from around the world. <laughs> some of us have spent time together before, some of us haven't. And I had a great time. And that's exactly what I want out of a game like this. And a squishy pink phone. <laughs> of so course. it's perfect. <laughs> that's really kind of you to say so. And yeah, like we, we pride ourselves on like party games are our thing. And like, that's what we want. We want those kind of interactions with people. It's why, why this kind of virtual convention is so hard for us because we're so used to just having people on our stand and going through like these like large kind of scale games with people. But I'm glad we found a format that's kind of worked. Um, for, for you, Ruel, what about yourself? How does this fit in your game collection, if it would? Oh, I absolutely love it. Um, for the reasons that Suzanne said, you know, it brings people together, and especially during this day and age with COVID and everything. Like, I'm getting together with my friends and family through Zoom, just like we are here, yeah. and this plays perfectly for Zoom, and I, I love it. It's easy to learn, um, and you really do get in that whole mind game thing, right? Like, what are they thinking, and you know, why are they? Why do all these people keep getting the wrong answers? That's what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> They're wrong. But, yeah, it, it's. A, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it's it's a ton of fun, and I can't I can't wait to play with my family because I know exactly like who's gonna love this. I mean, everyone in my family's gonna love it, but I know we're gonna have a great time with it. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad that we can we can offer you that, and and I'm gonna assume that your answers will be completely different playing with that set of. So your family are gonna have very different answers to these random guys from the from the UK and exactly. people across the world. So that's cool. Yes. Uh, and last but not least, MJ, how did you feel that went? Um, yeah, I really like it, and what I like about it the most, I think, that it isn't too long, mm -hmm. because that's my biggest problem with party games. Very often, they just take so long to, like, crown the winner, and then you want to play again, because this time you want to win, and then it just takes, just, it's, it's long, basically. It, like, sucks the fun out of the party. <laughs> so I like games that are quick and that are interesting and that are super simple to learn and that just don't take too long. And I think that even if we had 20 people playing, it just wouldn't, like the game wouldn't take that long because you just show your answers at the same time, count points, yeah. move on. So that's something that I like a lot about it. Awesome. Yeah. What else, like and I, I just want to jump in here that, because I think MJ said something really important, is a lot of these games you play them and you're like, ah, who cares about points? We play until we're tired of the game. I actually really think the scoring in this game works as mm -hmm. a scored party game. Cool. Where in a yeah. lot of party games, and I'm not gonna name names here, but like in a lot of party games, we just like, ah, we'll play until we're tired. Yeah, but yeah. like in this one, I was I was tracking, I knew who was ahead. I wanted my I, I can show you those tokens if you want. <laughs> but it mattered and it was good. Um, it, it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, and I think and the, the, cow the pink adds, cow, exactly the, the pink cow just adds like another layer. Oh, that's really kind. Um so the the world lost you there, John, so I, I will just summarize you said it's the best game you've ever played and you just want your board game shelf to be full with this game and nothing else uh, that's really really kind of you to say so um <laughs> but uh, yeah we've really really had fun like play like for me like as a, an events manager this has been so nice to be able to get even just a fraction of what i'd be doing at a convention so thank you guys so much for, for kind of taking the time to come and play um, but i think that's it from from us thank you so much enjoy the rest of the convention um yeah uh, keep in touch uh, and we'll play some games again in the future soon, I'm sure. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye.